Hey my Libras, this is Tara Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit. Welcome to my channel. A little late getting the rest of these out, but we're going to rock and roll this thing as best as we know how to rock and roll, right? So let's look at your general for this week and then look at the next seven days for your love. Uh, this is tomorrow is Halloween, so... Hope you guys have some good fun times for Halloween. Do your little rituals. But, you know, Libra, don't be killing nobody out here in these streets. I mean, I know you guys can kill somebody with your words. But don't be trying to drink the blood of, you know, Omar. <laughs> Do a purge this weekend or something. All right, let's get focused. What is the general messages that we have for Libra for the next seven days here? First out the deck, Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. That's you. The Four of Pentacles. You might be cursing somebody out about your money. Give me my money right now or it's going to be a problem. And it may be your mama or your baby mama or somebody else's uh, like motherly type of person. Yeah, because this is home dynamic. Uh, Ten of Pentacles that's in reverse here as well. And then page of one. So definitely communication coming, going out to someone that was supposed to be some good news. You could be receiving good news about finally being able to move out of your current situation, especially if you're living with your parents and you're wanting to move out. Um, it seems like that you'll probably get some good news within these next seven days about some type of financial situation that are in something that has had you living week to week. Um, like something like a huge amount of money could possibly come to you within the next seven days. Um, I feel like that this would probably may be like an unexpected event for you because it does seem like it kind of just pops up because you see how he's like wondering, like, how did I even get this message here is what I'm getting. I'm getting some playfulness, some um, passionate type of relationship ish messages too. So this could be someone that you used to be in a relationship with or currently in a relationship with, and they could be calling to give you some type of good news in regards. Like maybe they're calling you to tell you that they ass is getting out because y'all been broke up, but they've been still in your house and it's time for them to go. But definitely things like someone, um, if you are looking to move from a family dynamic situation, you could possibly be getting that news, that breakthrough, that money, that deposit money that you've been looking for waiting on this week here. Something about plan, planning, like going outside of your comfort zone, possibly even taking a trip, maybe even to like Dubai or across the waters or something that you may have been uncomfortable with, maybe because of COVID or something. And it seems like you come to the conclusion that you're going to take the leap. Uh, clarifying with the two of swords in reverse. The King of Cups reverse and then the Four of Swords reverse. The Four of Cups, okay. And then the Seven of Pentacles. So someone has whatever situation that you guys have been going in, it seems like some clarity comes forward to something that you've been waiting on for a very long time. That's kind of like had you disheartened um, that you may have thought like wasn't going to happen like it was it was on a dead end. And especially if you are waiting it having to do again with a family dynamic, a mother, a father, or someone that has just been a little bit like out of emotional because because we have both of these pairs that are here, but they're both in reverse. So it seems as if this situation makes your emotions be like all over the place, either whether or not it's in a good place, like you are so super ecstatic that you have this opportunity because you didn't think that it was going to come about and then boom, here it goes, or either um it's like it creates a disheartening because it now it, it makes you have to question, like, what are you going to do with this new information that has come um, because you've invested or planted into something else. So you don't know if you really want to go forward with this new venture, this new opportunity or the move itself. So it seems like you have some decisions to make this week. Libra and we all know that you guys are decision makers so don't spend too time on the execution or the dissection and the dissection of you know the information or whatever just kind of 
jump into what needs to be jumped into. You know what I'm saying? This is a good day to do like a manifestation, you know, candle burning um, or something of the sort to try to just help some meditation to try to help you clear your mind, your mental to see what it is that you want, what you got going on. So let's jump on over into your love sector. Show me what's going to be going on in Libra's love sector for the next seven days. See that lover's card just don't want to come from up under the bottom. There you go. What's going on in Libra's love sector? For the next seven days. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, or you could be having a separation from someone. Gemini in love. One more good shuffle here. If I can stop getting caught up. And boom. Up under the deck is five of swords. So this is about bully ego. Wanting to win at all costs. Do I need to be strategic in order to get that, you know, that punani or that, you know, wanker that I need to get? Like, what do I need to do? Because I plan on making it shake. That's kind of like the energy of this five of swords in reverse. You have the nine of swords that's in reverse, which is telling me that you're not really showing uh, your hand per se to a person, or maybe this person that you are planning on being the winner at at all costs, they don't really know how you actually feel, or they don't see, they're not going to see you coming because you're right now trying to act real nonchalant and act like, you know, Hey, yeah, I'm okay with just being friends with benefits or hooking up, but you got a plan for that ass because right now you don't feel like things are going the way that it needs to be going. Um, it's at a standstill or maybe you're at a decision of whether or not you should let something go, but you're not. you like, no, I have a plan. What you're not gonna do is break up with me and what you're not gonna do is be confused with me. What you're not gonna do is leave me to go to somebody else because I got a plan for that ass. See, look, Ace of Swords planning, strategic, manifesting things. So if you are in separation from your person or if you guys haven't went to that next level, it does seem like that if you work your plan, your work your magic here, will your sword here, say the right things that you are going to definitely end up getting what you want this week from this person is what I am getting for those of you guys that that resonates with you guys. I hope that you guys have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, you know, you can always do that right when this video ends. And I love you, love you, love you a long time. We also have the King of Wands that's here. So you could be dealing with a Cancer or you could be doing, dealing with a Fire Sign, a Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius that's here. King of Wands is definitely someone that has made a decision and is going to make moves on that decision. Four of Swords is in reverse. And then the Strength is here. Leo, and then we have the seven of pentacles and nine of one. So this definitely gives me the impression that this is a situation with someone that you could possibly already have have some type of affiliation with because you've been waiting on this person and now or you're waiting for this situation to turn into like this this strong passionate relationship or you feel like there's potential for it or you have felt some type of remembrance of this could be the person for you but this person is like a wounded soldier they are hurt they're guarded so you're trying to figure out what type of investments that you need to make in order to bring this person on the same page with you is what I'm getting. Let's see. And for what about my other Libras that this may not necessarily resonate with? Show me what other messages do we have for those who that message may not have resonated with in their love life this week. We have the world traveling or celebration or something having some type of cycle coming to an end for you in order for you to usher in and receive this four of ones, which is this new commitment, something that will be long term and stable with someone that you either met in the past is a soulmate connection or someone that's coming back as a reconciliation that's here and then seven of cups you you fantasize about this type of person this could also be someone new coming in someone that you have kind of romanticized fantasized about um especially if you may have been drunk or uh, you know in there touching yourself or something of the sort like you know you've had you know some type of fantasies about this person 
And then it's like whatever that was keeping you in between you either meeting this person or you and this person being together, like that cycle comes to an end in order for you guys to have a new beginning. As I said, look, Libra, I love this. Ace of Cups coming out as that outcome here for this week. So a new offering. And this could also be some real passionate, like lovey-dovey, emotional type of sex of where the woman climax is like everything, everything that she has always experienced always desire or want it like it's definitely some sexual fulfillment that is here and it's going to be for a low wing so libras my two options for you uh in love this week that you're going to have this happy new passionate beginning with someone um, that turns out to be something that could possibly be stable and long term with you whether or not you know them or you fantasize about them or you just meet them period point blank within the next seven days or for those of you that may have already known your person you are becoming a little bit more strategic on how to take your relationship or your situation with them to the next level and it does seem like that you're going to get it also if you're waiting for some type of communication from the, a person the odds are that you probably just might get it this week I appreciate you guys for stopping by my channel, listening to your love and general reading for the next seven days. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you all who do. Love you long time. Also, follow me on Instagram at Flirty Savage, Stop. Flirty Savage Spirit. You can always make personal reading, make an appointment for a personal reading at www.flirtysavage.com. That's also in the description box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys when I see you in the boom, boom, boom.